are lean mass hyper responders truly an exception when it comes to LDL cholesterol and heart disease? In short, it appears not. They are not an exception. I've had Nick Norwitz and Dave Feldman on the show to re-familiarize you here. They are interested in people who adopt a ketogenic diet who experience very large increases in LDL cholesterol and ApoB, but are otherwise healthy. Does this pose a risk? Their hypothesis being that it doesn't. Interestingly, just a few weeks ago, they published a recent study, which despite their commentary and the media's commentary, really confirms that this group of people are not low risk. Over just 12 months, many subjects in their study experienced rapid progression of atherosclerosis, with the median increase in non-calcified plaque volume being 18.33 millimeters cubed, which is almost four times greater than what's been observed in healthy individuals in other studies. Shockingly, while not clearly reported, Figure two in their paper suggests that around half of these lean mass hyperresponder subjects appear to have an increase in non-calcified plaque volume of over 50 millimeters cubed. If I was a subject in this study and my plaque was progressing at this rate, I would change my diet urgently and then see where my ApoB and LDL cholesterol fell to and consider taking lipid-lowering medication if I wasn't able to get within the optimal range. 